Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test the Room. Today we are taking a look at the Korg Electribe Wave. Um, yeah, because it's just had a new update uh, with a load of new waveforms to play with and also, and programs, and also the ability now to import your own samples into the drum machine as well. So we'll have a look at those as well. And they also give you an absolute load of those for free and all. Right, okie dokie. So this, I have this midied up to uh, the Archoria key step. This is one of the new sounds. It's one of the new programs. So you hit program here and you see there are two new banks, the solid waves and the atmospheric one. So each of those contain a load of sounds. So this is a sound from um, the solid waves pack. <laughs> Here's another one. So these sounds, once you load them in off the program menu, are already, you know, preset with effects and stuff, which you can then... You can then play with as much as you like. And then if we go into our tap our oscillator here, you'll see solid waves and then atmospheric wave tables and then your, your factory wave tables. So these are all the new waveforms that they give you to. If you select an initial program, for instance, like this, let's select this initial pattern here. Go in here, go to solid waves. These are the clean waves that then you can put into the uh, the Electribe and manipulate as you wish. Oh, also, while we're there, I should show you, uh, sorry, not the wrong place. Um, so, like I said, there are the new waveforms and these are the new atmospheric waveforms as well. Now, like I said, back to our programs here. Let's have a listen. And the store is, they are, I don't know, but you can demo them at the store, but I think they're $2.99 each. So, loss. let's go back to our initial pattern now. Okay, so let's have a listen to a couple more. That's a nice sound. I'm into, I'm into be into vocal choppy sounds at the moment. So I mean we can I've I think I've got this. No, this is initial pattern. Let's go back to this one, which is new stuff. And I shall go to atmospheric and this one. Choose that sound. Now I've programmed a little drum pattern here. I'll switch on record until it comes round again. So I've just recorded that little bit into there. Now, what the other thing was is let's go towards Rums Hill. I'll just turn that down a little bit. You can see now that uh, we can choose any particular. So let's just, let's choose, let's go into our sequence. And, oh, actually, let me go back to me sound this one here. And I just wanna, what is it, D5? Right, yeah. So we'll go to D5 
and you'll see that I've already got stuff programmed into that, which is the new bass drum. So, ew, go back to sound. So touching on, let me, it's annoying me now. Touch on this now, or any, let's choose another one. Uh, we can choose this sound, for instance, to play with. When it says user now, you will see that these are all the, these, all these are all the free ones that you actually get to play around with. So if, if we want to hear them, let's see, we can, when before we import them, we can sample them. But I'll, it's a bit weird, the import on this. It's, it's, it's a bit strange. You don't import the whole lot at once. You kind of import them one at a time. I don't know. It took me about two minutes to import them all, actually. But there you go. But I'll show you how you do that as well. So, but they're all imported now and they're all ready to use. So we could just select one, this, for instance, Cartoon Flex. And that is now installed in D6. Now, if I go to my sequence now and choose D6, there's nothing there. So let's switch a few of those on for each of the patterns. I could do this an easier way, but, you know, it's just as quick to do it like this. This is just so we hear our cartoon flex thing. And so we can hear some of the other sounds as well when I change, just change that particular sound out. So if I play it now. Okay. Let me just... Uh, so there's the, there's the new sound. Let's go back to our drum machine here. It is a cartoon sound pack, this one, by the way. Not all of it, just some of it. Like I said, these sounds are completely free, and how you get them, let's stop that now, because that's, <laughs> that's starting to annoy me as well. How you get them is, if we go to another one, whatever, go to user, that'll be completely empty, and you hit this little plus button here, and then you can see that you can import, for, like in your audio paste, the iTunes, the dreaded iTunes file sharing, or... Audio share, so I could get anything from Audio Share. Just let me have a quick swig of coffee, and then get free samples. Right now, this sample pack includes many varieties of sounds that it says there, so you can download them. Right, and you, once you hit download, it will start to download them. Look, see. Okay, I got. I got to show you this right because it's a. Uh, it's 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 really odd how they've done this. Now you'd expect, wouldn't you? That, I mean, it doesn't take long to download them, look. Uh, you'd expect that well, once it's downloaded, that they would all be there like like you've seen them, right? But no, 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 no. Which it, I lent to my thing because I was I, I then downloaded about four times. I was thinking, how, how does this work? What's this all about? I'm only downloading one sound. Why? Where's my other sounds? It's easy, really. So once it's downloaded, like this, Okay, right, now you'll see it says free pack one. It's the same as this one I've got here, look, see? Okay, open it up, and you've got all these uh, different, I think there's, what is the eight? So if you wanted to go to the cartoon, the, the guitar noises, the special effects, the tronica, or the donkomatic, you open it, and it tells you what's in there. You go like this, and you, oh, there's a sample. However... If I was to go out of that now, these sounds ain't going to be there. To load them, I have to tap them, okay? It says import drum sample fail because they're already there. So you have to tap each one on each pack to install it. So if I wanted the Electribes sounds, I'd, all I do is I'll tap, 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 and it'd install each one. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't take long, but I just thought it would have made more sense to just have it like 
I mean, because it's only a small amount, look, it's only 5.5 meg, the whole thing. Anyway, we need to delete that now because it's pointless. But they're there like that, like this. And then you can, you can, um, you know, you can try them like that. However, right, once they're in there, you can't, you can't, um, what's it them? You can't, you, you, you can't. You can't uh, sample them without having them loaded in and playing. Unless you go back to your user thing there, get free samples, go to the, again, do you know what I mean? So it's, I think that's a bit like, uh, I think it's a bit odd the way they've done that. But like I said, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to import the samples. Anyway, but that's how you do it. So I know it's a bit like convoluted, but there you go. What can you do? Um, right. Oh, other than that, the sounds. Good God, the sounds. So before I go, um, where am I now? Oh, I'm on. Uh, no, I know why. You see, you have to remember these things that you do. Um, let's go back to sound. Let's choose. There's a blank one. <clears throat> right. Can I listen to a few more of the sounds? The right, hang on. Okay. So, another another swig of coffee. I'm thirsty. Right, yo. The sounds are great. If you like wavetable sounds, they're factory bank sounds. Stupid boy. Now that is a really brilliant bass. to poly what i do like is the polyphonic glide as well if i really hit that high but it's easy it's easy to it's easy to to start manipulating the sound and getting some really nice sounds as well. Anyway, and so on and so forth until you are completely happy with your mix again. I I, I like the new update. The, the, I like the sounds in the packs. 
I think the the import thing's a bit mad. I think it should just import the whole thing as it wants, but it doesn't take long to tap on each one. And I mean, you know, it, it's such a small footprint. It you know doesn't really matter. Um, but other than that, I think it's great. But also bearing in mind that the, the actual import fun- the feature is completely free. It's a completely free. It's a free update. The sound packs, however, the two new sound packs you have to buy two ninety nine. You know, not the end of the world. If you love. Uh, Electribe Wave, then you know. I think you'll be you'll be happy with the packs. I think it's really nice. And you do get a lot of new stuff. There you go. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. Consider making a one-off donation if you possibly can. That's always cool beans. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. The I Electribe, I Electribe, I see, I'm so confused. Korg Electribe Waves, uh, new sound packs, two new sound packs, the solid and the atmospheric, and also the ability that now you can import your own samples and also that they give you a load of samples as well for free that you can mess with, that you have to import one by one. Maybe they were thinking, well, you know, you're going to sample a sound. You're not, why would you want them all? I don't know. I just find it easy just to stick them all in there. Then they're there when you want them, aren't they? Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Ta-da.